about how many victims were in this case and this was maybe the largest in the county can you talk a little bit about that well we are around right now about 220 individual victims that have been identified as people who have contributed to fundraisers or benefits in one way or another i'm sure there are many more but you know some people just don't you know put a claim in. you call this calculated and downright evil can you sum up why you talk that well way? this was certainly calculated because this took a tremendous amount of thought and effort to actually take a letter from a doctor that says you are cancer free and scan it in your computer and then adjust it with a word processing program and have it read that you are suffering from stage four metastatic uh, breast cancer uh, that's very calculated. I also said that I thought this was one of the most evil things I had ever seen because of the impact on her children. Uh, the biggest victims in this case, you know, you can put the money aside. These kids are going to be affected for a long, long time. And it's just incomprehensible to me that a, that a mother could do that to her own children just to make a few thousand dollars. You also pointed out in there that there was continued claims by her and her lawyer that she did receive a diagnosis of cancer? Can you clear that up for us? Well, you guys may have been here for some of that because he held a few conferences right outside in this lobby after court proceedings, and the second of which he said basically, uh, uh, you know, the doctors screwed up in this case. They originally diagnosed this as cancer. They have some blame here. That is absolutely not true. Uh, she presented for examinations. Full batteries of tests exams were done. At the conclusion, she was advised, you are cancer-free, go home, feel good about yourself, don't worry. She took that letter and you know what you did with it afterwards. Thank you.